to your dad. The last time I wrote, I told you I wasn't afraid. That I was brave enough to face this war with open eyes. But you must know by now that I'm living a lie. I think you've known it all along. I've seen so many planes go down. Watched helplessly as my friends die right in front of me. It all happens in an instant. Dad, I'm scared. We all are. The boys never talk about it, but I can see it in their eyes. I don't think there's a single man left who really believes we'll make it through all 35 missions. Before I shipped out, you said the key was taking it one day at a time. Just make it through one more takeoff. Survive one more landing. not like the rest of the guys. They're all afraid of what's gonna happen once we get airborne. But me? I'm more scared of what happens if I ever make it home. I keep thinking of that day I told you I was enlisting. Back in South Dakota. The morning of my first solo flight. place where I grew up, where you raised me to be a man. As much as I loved being up in the air, I couldn't wait to land. I couldn't wait to see the look in your eyes when I told you my decision. That I was gonna follow in your footsteps. That I was gonna fight. Just like my old man. I got a glimpse of what you fought for so long ago. I thought for the first time that I really understood you. I was wrong. I remember the way you looked at me when I told you I was signing up. All that respect, it made me feel invincible. Things change so quickly here. It's taken me weeks to write you again, to tell you the truth, to tell you how I really feel about this war. Each mission takes me further and further into Europe. And during every flight, I look down through the clouds. What do I see? A place that looks just like home. fly, the Dakota Zephyr. It's designed for one thing and one thing only, to carry war to the homeland of our enemies, to bring death.
How am I supposed to feel, Dad? Am I supposed to feel? Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why didn't you tell me what it was really like? I've learned many things fighting in this war. Mostly, I've learned that I'm not a very brave man. Because a brave man would never say these things. Not to a veteran who's never once shown a single sign of weakness. Dad, I'm sorry. Maybe the bravest thing I can do is hold on to this letter. You fought your war. It's not fair to blame you for letting me fight mine. But if I do manage to survive, if I can somehow make it to the end of 35 missions, maybe I'll be able to break the chain, to end the lies. Maybe someday I'll get the chance to pass these words along to a son of my own. What do you think, Dad? Have I finally found the truth? <laughs>